Hey everybody, what's going on? Josh here with Scrapyard Films, and today I'm going to be showing you how to get the best mixer streaming settings with OBS Studio for partners and non-partners. I'm going to explain everything in detail for the non-partners, and then once I'm finished, I'm going to go back and adjust the little things that partners would change. So first thing you're going to want to do before we start is install the links that I have provided below. We're going to be installing Visual Studio 2015 by Microsoft, and then you're going to have to search for your graphics card drivers and update those. Those are the first two things you got to do. And once you've done both of those things, we can continue. So I'm going to assume you have done both of those. First thing you're going to want to do in OBS is open up the settings. Then over here, we're going to go to audio, and then you're going to want to change your sample rate from 44.1 to 48 hertz. You're going to have to restart OBS after this, and that's fine. So we hit apply, hit OK, and go ahead and restart it. Once you've done this, let's open back up settings. And then you're going to go to your stream tab on the left. Stream type, make sure it's streaming services. Service, we're going to be doing Mixer FTL, which stands for faster than light. What this does is it actually gives you almost zero latency, your very, very minimum latency, making your stream real time. So you can communicate with your fans and your streamers almost instantaneously, kind of like the right there. Rather than Twitch, you have to wait a good five to 10 seconds before they'll see one of your reactions or they'll see you respond to one of their chat messages. Once you've done that, go ahead and hit apply. And then let's go down to the video tab. So in video, for non-partners, this is how we're gonna be doing it. Base canvas resolution, we're gonna be matching that of what your monitor is and what the resolution you're playing your game is. So we're gonna assume it's a 1080p monitor and a 1080p game, and go ahead and choose 1920 by 1080. Output scaled resolution, we're gonna to wanna to drop that down to 720p, because that's gonna be a smaller file size for your fans to download while they're watching. A smaller file size makes it easier for fans of all sorts of internet connections to watch your stream. Next, for downscale filter, we're going to be choosing either Bicubic or Langsos. This depends basically on what kind of computer you have. If you have a really good motherboard and processor and graphics card, you can do this last one. If you have just an okay one, maybe like a GTX 1060 or something like that, then Bicubic's fine. Next is common FPS values. This is going to depend basically on how good your internet upload speed is. If you have a decent upload speed, maybe like 10-15 megabits upload, then you're going to want to do 30 frames per second. If you have a really good upload speed like gigabit internet, then you can go ahead and do 60. But I'm going to assume not everybody has gigabit, so we're just going to go with 30. Once you're done with that, go ahead and hit apply, and then make your way to the output tab. Click on that, go to output mode, make sure it's in advanced, and we're going to go under the streaming tab right here. Okay, and if you have an AMD graphics card or a laptop with built-in AMD graphics, something along those lines, we're going to be choosing our encoder and we're going to be using H.264 ABC. AMD media framework that means it's going to be using your AMD graphics card again for non-partners we're going to click rescale output and then we're going to change this to 720p and then preset you could just play around with this one but this is basically depending on what you're going to stream on most people stream on twitch so I like to choose twitch but if you want you could do high quality that one's a really good one as well so let's just say high quality quality preset we can do speed balanced or quality basically low medium high so quality will give you a higher file size but better quality so you can choose this one if you have a decent upload speed but some of your viewers may not be able to download it properly and they may experience buffering so to be safe you can use balanced just to be safe if you're not partnered leave all this the same keyframe interval do one because one's going to give you the best quality two and three will start giving you a little less quality but it's going to reduce the file size so one's the best and then view mode keep it a basic because you can go expert advanced and master and it'll bring up a million options so you don't even want to worry about those because you don't need to. So bring that back down to basic. And those are the best mixer settings for non-partnered streamers. Now, if you stream a lot of mixer and you end up do getting partnered, easy. Let's go ahead and go over those settings. Go over to the video tab first. Change your output scaled resolution to 1080p. And then if you have decent internet, go ahead and flip that to 60 frames a second. Hit apply. Go to output. Got your AMD encoder uncheck rescale output and that's going to make your stream in 1080p because when you are partnered your streamers will have the option to knock down the quality preset you can do high quality keep that there that's perfectly fine recordings not bad indistinguishable would be insanely high file size and not advisable unless you have gigabit upload speed 
Same with lossless. So you're probably still better off at doing high quality. Quality preset, we can knock this up to quality though. That's a good one. Keep everything the same. Keyframes, bring that back down to one. Hit apply, and that's it. Now you have seen the best mixer streaming settings for partners and non-partners using AMD graphics for encoding.